Yes, we're here today to mark a key milestone in the programme, which is the stand-up of the first squadron here at RNAS called Rose, the Merlin Mark II. We've delivered five aircraft to date, and this really um, starts the delivery phase in earnest. And we're going to grow that capability over the next 18 months to full operational capability of the Merlin Mark II. Well, the Mark II programme came um, out of a, a need to um, extend the life of the aircraft for a further decade. So this upgrade is really about obsolescence and it's replaced every loom in the aircraft. But in, as part of the programme, we've taken the opportunity to broaden the flexibility of the platform with an open systems architecture. And what I mean by that is you can insert upgrades and modifications to the aircraft easily. Um, we've also brought in secondary roles such as casualty evacuation, um, through the easy fitment of stretchers and we've added um, uh, the M3 machine gun to the um, side of the aircraft which will help in anti-piracy and constabulary roles. So it really is developing from a pure anti-submarine warfare helicopter into a broader, more flexible tool for the maritime commander. The stand-up of the squadron rep represents a key point uh, where the Merlin maintainers and the aircrew start to transition through training courses um, to get ready to fly and maintain this um, exceptional aircraft. We've had the crews involved in the design of the helicopter from the start, so in terms of specifying the human-machine interface, all of the layouts on the displays, the cockpit layouts, the switch positions, the user has been intimately involved in this project from the start, and that has meant that they have been able to influence its design all the way through, and they're now in the phase of accepting that design, and they're extremely excited about it. Yeah, uh, basically, the, the biggest difference I see as a crew person is the, the way the information is presented to me. It's, it's a lot more uh, in tune with our current time. I've got a touchscreen panel, very, very similar to a tablet uh, in the sense of, you know, I, in, I interface with it by, by touching the screen, and that's how I interface with the aircraft. Um, I also uh, have a mouse, uh, which is, 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 very, is a new addition to the Mark II, it's a fact it's a rollable, the mouse doesn't move, but it's very similar to a mouse in the fact that I've got right click and left click functionality as you would expect of a modern computer system, which is which is very different to what the Mark I was. The, the Mark II uh, is a very different workspace, effectively it's a new office um, within the same building. I'm feeling extremely proud uh, about this programme. It's been a, uh, a long programme, started in um, the early 2000s, and uh, today we're seeing the manifestation with this aircraft. Uh, I'm very proud to say that the project team in DNS and industry have worked exceptionally well together, bringing in the user at appropriate points in the, in the programme um, to deliver the Merlin Mark II.